What's up guys? This is What's My Game and thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please mash that like button for me and subscribe for more content. So I am playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain and I'm going to show you guys how to get infinite money. And I've kind of made my bit on that the last few months. So this is truly an infinite money. It's not a, it's not a glitch. It's more of a farm exploit. Um, you'll want to replay uh, episode number 8, Occupation Forces, over and over and over again. Um, you must have the transportation expert. Um, I will do, I've already done a how-to video. I'm going to post this video first and that video second. Uh, so that you can get the uh, transportation expert so that you can get the highest level um, Fulton device possible so you can lift vehicles. So I'll do all of that in a separate video to help you out. And uh, it's really easy to do. I can get you in and out uh, in like five minutes on that to get that. Because um, a lot of people are having trouble getting him. So this is episode eight, Occupation Forces. And this is where we're going to get uh, infinite money. It takes about five minutes or less when you get really good at it. Um, and you'll net uh, anywhere from 250 to 500,000 in money. It just depends on how many times you've done this. Um, but I'm going to walk you through uh, one of my passes here. Now I haven't farmed a lot. I've done this maybe five or six times, and um, and uh, I got pretty decent at it. So it's not like I've stayed up overnight doing this. But um, right now, okay. First of all, see where I put that D and that E. Those are important spots. Um, the D marker is where you need to go around. There's a little checkpoint of uh, guards, so you'll want to go around them so you don't have to worry about you know uh, raising any alerts. And then. Um, on the other spot is where we're going to intervene the two tanks and the truck that we're going to end up stealing. Okay, so that's why I, I, I went ahead and did that while I was in the air and put those marks in there. You can see I'm heading towards D right now. It's just a reminder I need to head to the right of this fork because on the left hand side is some guards and a checkpoint and it's just a lot easier just to head this direction and go around. Um, you can go a little bit faster if you use the horse, but I have no problem getting to where I'm trying to go uh, by running, and uh, I like having my dog with me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, this is the way to go, and uh, you can see my E marker over there. I think I set the E marker a little bit too far away, but it just helps me r remind myself of where I'm going. Um, you'll need to have the Fulton device capability maxed out so you can pick up vehicles. Again, I'm going to show you in another video how to get the transportation expert, uh, whatever specialist, whatever the hell's name is. You also need to have decoys. Um, they can just be on the first level if you want. Um, so you need to have decoys, and that's I just made the decoys um, as my device that I'm going to use right now. So everything's ready to go. What we're going to be doing before we get there is we're going to lay out several decoys. And remember, when you activate a decoy or a C4, they, they activate or they blow up in the in the order that you release them. So in this case, I want the first decoy to be, just, lay them just like this. So that way each time they go up, the soldier in the, that I do first is gonna be the one in the front and then a little bit further back, and that's a strategy. So what you do is you lay out all your uh, decoys there, and then you go ahead and call in your, so, uh, your helicopter for pickup, because it takes them about a minute to get here, and uh, that way you're not waiting on him. Now you let these guys go by, and then you activate your decoy. Okay, you gotta kinda spatially know where your decoy is. Um, once you activate just one decoy, they're gonna stop, and this will allow you <laughs> to go ahead and pick up this tank, okay? And you just run right over to this one. Now if you get too close to the back, you'll actually end up jumping in as opposed to picking it up. But that's okay, just jump off and then uh, um, pick it up. Now go ahead and activate another decoy, if you haven't already. See, I just activate one right now. That's why he stops. So that way you have a couple of different layers, because he's going to destroy it and then move again. And that way you can pick up all of them. Um, so the decoys are, are an integral part of this. You have to have them, and you'll want to activate them at different stages. And see, there's actually one left back there in the back. Okay? Um, and now my helicopter is on the way, since I was, you know, already called for it. You can save yourself about 30 to 45 seconds um, by uh, calling it there if you want. Now, you can meet these tanks at anywhere on the map that you want. It does not matter. I've met them a couple of different places. <coughs> it really doesn't matter. That happens to be a decent spot between how far it takes you to run and then there's that building there. And that's it, guys. The, 
you will get um, some decent soldiers out of this. They're always A ranked. Um, and sometimes you'll get one or two elite soldiers as well, so they'll be A plus or higher. But you'll, you'll get, because the soldiers are still in the cars when you lift them off, so you get four soldiers. And then the tanks are worth 100,000 GMP each, so it's like getting two of the best diamonds. And then the truck, I think, is 20 or 30,000, so it's pretty good too. So each time, you're going to get 230,000 minimum. Um, but you'll get some from the mission, even though every time you do the mission, it's going to go down just a little bit. And you'll get an S rank every time, which it's not a big deal, but that's the best you can get. And that one, I killed it. I mean, I was like four minutes and 23 seconds. That was awesome. I mean, that was probably one of my faster ones. Um, so here's all the shit I'm getting. It's really worth it. And uh, again, you just do this over and over again. So less than five minutes, um, you have yourself at least a quarter of a million in GMP. So you can see I'm up about 800,000 from the last, the first part that you saw this because I'm selling everything now. So you go into your resources and sell your tanks. I have, I have seven at this point. I didn't build them all up. So I have seven. Now I have two and a half a million. So that's it, guys. Just rinse and repeat and do it over and over again. It's infinite money. I hope you enjoy it. Please mash that like button. More comment coming. Have a great day. This is What's My Game. See ya.